818, who is this? This is Baron J. Littleton Jr., actor, <laughs> producer from the condo. Hey, I'm supposed to call in at are. six. Yes, Baron. I'm sorry. Yes. You're like an hour late, buddy. <laughs> I know. Tomorrow's my birthday, and I've been oh. put in so many directions. Hey. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Aaron. Right. I, I, I just want to say, first of all, I am Redler, and this beautiful woman is my queen, my love, my it's no queen clue bitch. If I'm beautiful or not, he can't see me. He'll oh, have nice. to take my word for it. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, uh, even my wife is saying, you acting kind of strange. I think it's because it's my birthday, and so I'm like forgetting things, and I'm just not normal today. All right, so you're like 26 today? No, I'm not, actually. I'm, I'm close. <laughs> close. All right, so all right, he's 26 with, uh, I don't know, a couple of years added, maybe. All right, so first of all, happy birthday. Oh, thank you so much. All right, so it was kind of odd because this was kind of a shotgun-type uh, interview that we set up. Right. Um, and uh, I actually did get a chance to watch your movie today. Oh, which, no. oh, dude, I'm telling you, it was it was crazy and had my mind twisted. Uh, I don't know if that was the goal. I don't know if that was the goal, but it, it was just so odd. It really was. And uh, there were so many different ways I thought it could have went that it didn't go that I wasn't sure. I Even watching it, I wasn't sure how which one was the true ending. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, because it, I understand. It, it's like you got three different films: the one you write, the one you shoot, and the one you edit, and then the one that people perceive they see when they watch it. So, like four different different movies. No, exactly, and uh, yes, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I lost the words. I see. Yeah. All right. Well, no, I, I flabbergasted by this movie. He can't find his words. I, I get many notifications from different uh, different social aspects that I'm trying to take them all in and talk to you at the same time. Um, right. Now, okay, I was the first thing that kind of confused me is okay, was there actually a twin, or was that just you playing a dual role? You know, kind of like playing right. it off like, oh yeah, that's my alter ego. You know what? That was actually me playing a, a dual role. You know, and when I was younger, I always wanted to be a twin, so I kind of, like, did created it. that awesome ego, yeah. Everybody you know, wanted to be a twin. I wanted to be a twin, too, just to confuse the hell out of my mother, but she was so easily confused anyway, so it didn't take much. I'm an only child, so, you know, it was pretty <laughs> See, easy. I, I am, too. I'm an only child, okay. too. That's why I always so wanted a twin. A, maybe that's an only child syndrome, then. <laughs> it is. Somebody can go take your test for you, show up to court yes. for you. You know, <laughs> you can, yes, you, definitely showing you can up to court up, for you. I you can switch up on each other's spouses, you know. <laughs> we got a funny. <laughs> and guess right, what? So, I'm married to a twin now. So I guess I really Oh, that's but awesome. No. I'm married to this dude. He's not a twin. No, nope. ah. I'm a one of a kind. One of a kind. <laughs> Out of the 500 million sperms that landed, out of, out of 500 million sperms, one landed with you, not two. Yes. Wow. Exactly. I, 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 should I take offense to that? No, you should hmm? be, just, just say thank you. <laughs> As my wife tells me to say, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so Baron, I, I noticed that the, the very first thing I noticed, obviously, was the beginning credits. You seem to be, like, all in with this movie. Oh, yes, I am. Because uh, I, I noticed, like, a, it was, like, three or four, like, your own production company and uh, a couple of other things that, that buried your in my name. Nonprofit. Yes. And, and yeah, it, you know, so like immediately. The Baron Day Foundation. Correct. And so yeah, immediately I, I, got the, I got the immediate idea that it was, like, okay, this guy is, this is, like, his all-in project. And, and, you know, I, I don't know how accurate that may be, but that's that was the impression I got when, you know, watching the beginning of this. Right. Yeah, it, it was. Um, it was something um, that I put together, and it's because of me the reason why it happened. You know, if I wasn't living, this movie would have never happened. It was my idea, 
and uh, I, I brought on some great people to help me achieve it. Now, uh, I didn't, I don't, I didn't catch it or not whether you did or not. But uh, did you also write this movie? No, I did not write it. Um, actually, I had someone write it for me, which was uh, Bill Marino and Bill Dumas. They penned the script for me. I came up with the idea and the concept and a couple of the characters, and they knocked it out in three months. Wow, that's crazy. Who, whose idea was it to have a lady with seven weekday names? Ah, wait a minute. I think that was that was actually the writer, Bill. He's an Italian guy. He's like maybe like 60-something years old now. <laughs> and he dated some girl like that before, he told me. That, that was... He dated a... This is based off an actual person? <laughs> yes, actually, yep. It is. Wow. I thought I had split personalities, but wow. <laughs> yep. That's, that's interesting. So he was kind of pulling from his own experience for this character. Well, absolutely. Yep. A lot, a lot of times when you're watching movies, people pull them from their own experiences Obviously. or for something yeah. they experience through others. Yeah. That's why if yep. I were to write something inspired by my life, it'd be really fucked up. But, you know, that's all good. <laughs> it'd probably be pretty right. entertaining because apparently I'm pretty funny, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> people like fucked up shit. That's entertaining. People don't want it anything is. perfect. Exactly. There's Just something think about it. about imperfection. Just think about it. You know, who would you want to see a movie on? Uh, Sugar Ray Leonard or Floyd Mayweather? Most likely it's going to be Floyd Mayweather because he got a lot of crazy shit going on. It's going to be more entertaining. Well, I like Sugar Ray Leonard. I like his name. Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard is what Sugar she said. Sugar Ray Leonard is what she said. My, my no, way, I know, uh, but I, I understand your point. I do understand yeah. your point. I am not Just, into boxing, but I know who those two people are, and I sort of kind of know their what they were about. But I understand your point. Yeah, you want somebody who has a. It's like okay, would you rather watch Michael, you know, Mike Tyson, or I don't know who's really kind of calm and centered? <laughs> I mean, uh, none. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I actually watched that fight where he bit off that dude's ear. I mean, that was yeah. insane. Yeah, but Vander Holyfield. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. I forgot. I couldn't remember which one it was. Um, but um, but I digress. Okay, back to the movie. Um, no, definitely. Yes. I mean, that's the whole reason we're talking to you is about this movie. Yes, um, the condo. The condo The condo. Movie. The condo. Now, yeah, it comes uh, out. No, go ahead. Does it come it out? Can, it, it comes out uh, December 5th, which is, uh, I think, Tuesday? Wait a minute. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. December 5th, Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday, yeah. On, on video on demand, on all video demand outlets. Comcast, iTunes, Google, Venmo. Um, cool. Anything you can think of, Charter, Cox, you know. Dish. Dish Direct TV. Yeah. It'd be, <laughs> yeah, so it'd be easy to find. Just type in the title, and it'll pop up. Now, Excellent. now Excellent. let me ask you: Do you think it's easier to like you know have it released directly to a, a the, to theaters or to on demand? You said, "What's the question?" Do you think it's easier? What's the question? How do you hear the question? Well, no, I, I was asking: Do you think it's easier to go to on demand compared to the theaters? Do you think you'll get a better response? No, well, everything is kind. Of, no, it, it depends. Everything comes down to uh, marketing. Uh, um, mm -hmm. So it basically comes down to it's, it's about people knowing about it and nowhere to go see it. So I say the main concern, if it's in a movie, if it's in the theaters or on video on demand, the main thing is about how you market it and, and let people know about it. That's the biggest concern. That's the biggest obstacle. Now, the the funniest thing, I mean, to me, the movie was, it was definitely, it, it, it honestly reminded me of a porno version of Groundhog Day. Oh. <laughs> now, now I'm glad you laughed at that because I didn't want you to be offended by it. But that's the kind of the way I experienced it because the multiple personalities of uh, I don't know I guess we'll call her Tuesday, um, yeah. Uh, the way you know, and then speaking to her, to her therapist who was just off the wall. But it, the line that caught me off guard the most was when he said, don't let Monday come out because of what she'll do orally. Right. 
yeah. that messed with yeah. me so much during the match. And, and then, you know, and then shortly afterwards, he's like, you know, she wanted to go down on him. And he's like, oh, no, he's pushing her off. And she's smacking away and getting physical. Oh. I, I actually laughed at that part. Now, I wasn't know if I, I didn't know if I was supposed to or not. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to ask, you know, whatever the feeling is, do what's next. But I mean, the the concept I, I thought was it was 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 kind of cool and something you would kind of expect, you know, four married guys, you know, renting out a condo to to have, uh, you know, some fun, or whatever. And the way it worked out was just it, it was it was really interesting, and the most interesting character obviously was. The, the lady that who played Tuesday, and uh, yeah. but obviously the most yeah. aggression came from your 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 uh, acting wife, uh, so to speak. Yeah, <laughs> I I actually laughed quite a bit at her during the movie because it seemed like she was somewhat clueless when at times she seemed to be on the ball. So it, it didn't kind of add up, but the way uh, everything worked out was was interesting indeed. Yeah, it was. Now, how long did it take you to shoot this movie? Uh, we shot this movie in eight or nine days. What? So wow. we were, yeah, yeah, we were flying by the seat of our pants, working. Oh, those are the best. <laughs> flying by the seat of the pants, see what happens. Yeah, exactly. You know. Yep, cool. we shot it fast. And uh, so it's kind of like theater acting, or, you know, theater movie making. Where we didn't get a lot of takes, like we got like maybe one or two takes, then we moved on. Where like in bigger budget films, studio films, you do like fifteen takes on one shot, they move to another right. setup, do another fifteen shots. Well, this one take or two takes, and then we move it on to the next thing because that's it. So basically, what you see is what you get. Kind of like when you do, when you, kind of like when you do theater, you only get one try. That's it. You go out there on stage, and if you mess up, you just keep going. Gotcha. That's gotcha. crazy. That's how, I, I don't think I've ever heard of a movie being shot that quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It didn't know what it, it there was like some things cut out of the movie, some things that we couldn't shoot because we didn't have enough time. So we had to like uh put it together the best way we can in post when we were editing the film together. Because like in the beginning like in the beginning of the film, uh if the setup was all of us was taking our girls to all these different places. We didn't get a chance to show that. Like one guy like Ron G was taking his girl to the C D hotel and she's like, Why are we going here? And he's coming up with this excuse, Oh, you know, it, we do a renovation on my house and then one guy's like going to the park, you know, all these different places. So that kind of, So we didn't get a chance to shoot that part, you know, in right. the, the beginning of the movie. Yeah. They kinda had to set it up in a different way to explain right. this rental of this condo. Gotcha. Exactly. Because before we were taking all our girlfriends to these different hotels and motels and parks, and like, why are you taking us there? We came up with excuses. Oh, my house has uh, been fixed or it's been worked on. We sold it. You know, came up with excuses. So. Right. Right. Anything to keep them out of the actual home. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Now, cool. now, obviously, you guys were playing cards at the beginning, and I. This is a stupid question, but. It, uh, when I think of cards, when I think of guys playing cards, I only think of Hold'em, Texas Hold'em. Where is that? What you guys were playing? I gotta ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, we were. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I mean, I'm <laughs> <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, in uh, oh man, that that house though, that that house was really awesome that you guys were in. So that there's that yeah. was that. Yeah, we shot that at, uh, he's a music producer. We shot it at Details House in California. He's a music producer out of Detroit. He's, bo- he's from Detroit, but he lives in L.A. He produced, like, Beyonce and uh, Lil Wayne and a lot of other different people. Wow. We shot it at his house. Okay, not to kind of go off subject, but I'm going to go off subject just a little bit because you mentioned a producer who did all these yeah. singers. Um, cool. I was watching, one of my things I like to do is watch um, House Hunters or Island yeah. Life and those things, you know, those kind of shows on HGTV. But anyway, there was this guy who um, I guess was originally from the Cayman Islands and was in L.A. He was like a music producer and I guess he had done a producing for some, you know, I guess Eminem was one of them. I don't remember exactly, but... Him and his wife were buying a home back on Cayman because they want to go back to the island life. 
That right? was just a little side note. Nothing really important. It's just a little <laughs> okay. side note that kind of made me think of it when you were talking about the producer. Sorry. Yeah. I went on right. my no. one-way tangents. No. I do the same thing. All right. Now, I was actually, because of uh, how many times, you know, it changed perspective, you know, the, the groundhog effect that I was feeling. Um, now, I, I also noticed, which was a different concept for me to grasp, is the fact that you also did some kind of like stand-up during the, the movie, where it broke away from the movie and actually showed you doing stand-up. Um, now, how was that supposed to be incorporated, and was it a major factor in the movie? No, that, that, that actually wasn't me. That was uh, Ron G. He was a, he was a comedian. And it was just showing his uh, his aspect of, of his life of him being a stand up comedian and of him telling jokes and his wife there uh, at the club not really paying him any attention and and dissing him and not giving him really any respect or love and that gives him a reason to go out and have a mistress. Okay, so that was kind of telling his backstory sort of thing. Yeah. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Explain okay. his character. I, I agree with almost everything you said there, except for the whole going out and doing your own thing. Um, because my <laughs> wife gives no, no, my wife gives me shit and you know cracks on me every chance she gets, and I love that because that's the banter that her and I have in our marriage, and uh, right. it, that's what you know. Yeah, but there's a difference between banter and just ignoring. Well, okay, I, I get okay. I I see the difference, <laughs> and apparently ours is different uh, yeah. from his. Right. And uh, so, how much fun did you have doing this movie? I mean, I know movies can be work. You know, a lot of work, a lot of hard effort. You know, did you have a lot of fun? Is there a lot of outtakes where you guys are just like cracking up at each other, doing stupid shit? No, we had a lot of fun doing this movie as far as like outtakes, not too many because we were like shooting like one or two takes and moving on to the next setup. So right. there was a lot of fun in between the scenes. But uh, I mean, it was just like a big party for eight days and people didn't nice. want it to end. It's like, when we doing part two? And I'm like, I don't know. It's like, let's do it. Uh, it, it was on the set talking about, well, maybe we can like go away on a retreat and we do it in the Bahamas somewhere. And, <laughs> I don't know. Fuji like, Islands. I vote for the Fuji Islands. You're right. Yeah, we, you know what? We can we can do go away on a retreat. We can make Bahamas look like here in California. So, you know, <laughs> do some outtakes in Bahamas. Mexico. Yeah. I'm sure that should be pretty cheap. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I asked me and my wife just actually bought some land in Baja, Mexico. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. We bought uh, ten thousand square feet of land. Okay, we're gonna come visit you in Baja, Mexico. Once we. Oh, can. absolutely. <laughs> baby, 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 we're gonna show up and he's like, "Who the fuck are these white people?" <laughs> Get some crazy white people showing up at my door. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Claiming to be the Antichrist and his queen. What the fuck? Now, so do you, okay, so, right. okay, so do you, is your is your land closer to the Pacific side or that little like golf area between Mexico and the Baja? Um, it's, it's closer to the Pacific uh, side. It's right off the all right off the water. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, Redler, yeah. Redler, and I plan to buy some island land. He's not really, he doesn't really know about this, but we're planning on buying some island. Well, or I could, I could hook you guys up. With, I could hook you guys up with my with my realtor. There you go. Absolutely. Yeah. We got to win the lottery first, though. No, 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 you don't. It's actually very affordable. You know, that this uh, land, 10,000 square feet, costs like $20,000. And then you oh, can do um, monthly you payments on it. I, yeah, what? monthly what? payments. Yeah. Let me, let's we put like. Some land in Mexico. We can afford it. <laughs> yeah. We put as like $6,000 down, and our payment is like 170 a month. Hold on, hold on. As long as Perfect. we can be next to Baron J, and yeah. we, can have, we can have some house parties on the weekend. Well, oh, we'll absolutely. Use, we, we'll, we'll make some land and they can film their next movie there. And we'll be all oh, good. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, I've been thinking about that, but hmm, we can do a movie up here. Everybody. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. Then you get that whole, like, business expense off on the land. It's a whole tax thing, right. I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. and, and we could even be nice enough to let him and his wife co-host the show with us. 
Whoa, whoa. Lovely. <laughs> now, I got to ask you, Baron. I got to ask you. Oh, I have two things I want to ask you first. Uh, all right. Was your wife a part of the movie? Yes. She's actually, uh, she, she did like uh, makeup. She did craft service. She's uh -huh. actually an actress in the movie. Wait a minute, you guys. I'm uh -huh. sitting right here. I'm, yes! I was. The I, I was the first chick up in the first scene in the movie with the guy coming in to look at the apartment. Nice! <laughs> so that's what got wait, so listen, that's what got me in the union. I did crafty, I did hair, I did whatever he needed me to do on the set. I was totally down with him. Awesome. That's that awesome. So awesome to hear. That is, minus uh, minus the fluffing, okay. correct? Now, can I ask you a question about makeup and hair? Uh, do you have like, are you like a cosmetologist? I mean, do you have experience doing makeup and hair? Or were you just like, you know what? I know how to do makeup. I'm just going to come here and do it. Or well, you know, actually, what's your I didn't, background I, on that? I, I didn't do the makeup. I do have background. I went to school in New York and Manhattan for cosmetology. I worked at one of the hottest salons in the 90s. I've done everybody from Denzel Washington to Naomi Campbell. But the thing about that was I was... Um, I graduated, but I don't have my license right now. So um, right now, I just uh, I'm doing acting. I'm in the union. Um, I was a detective on Rosewood for a season, and oh, now I I've been. That and I never did. It wasn't great at all, but you know, for me, it's about the check. I need the check. Of I need course. the money. And you know, so I I I enjoy it because I'm an artist too, and all that art in the film was my art. Really. All right, not. Not to be rude, but may I hate to be stupid, but may I ask your name? Kamani. Kamani with a T. Yes, Kamani. Very nice. Well, yeah. This, so I, I just wanted to say this is for you. Yeah, yeah. Just ignore him. That he was opening that? a beer. He was opening a beer. Oh, good. Oh, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> So yeah, um, so yeah, no, I just, you know, so uh, when he just needed some extra help with it, I just jumped in and helped, and that, you know, it was all good. So you know, just part Very of whatever cool. makes the, the dream work. You step in as a teammate. Absolutely. So I'm so glad you guys got to see it. Thanks for watching it and your support. And I'm gonna give you back to Baron J. Well, thank you for jumping on the interview. That was awesome. We Absolutely. appreciate it. You're welcome, Bye, guys. Thank yeah, you. All right, so. <laughs> So, are yeah, you allowed to speak to us now, awesome. Baron? Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should, we should, we don't want to step on your wife's toes or anything. <laughs> yeah. No, no, and uh, I got to give you props. I, you know, I really do because you know, uh, for the last uh, close to fifteen months or now, fifteen months or so now, my wife and I have been doing this show as a team. <laughs> That's I dope. Like I love it. And, and uh, so anytime I hear a husband and wife duo actually doing something as a team together, I I hold it in high regards. I really do because I know the dedication and I know the work that needs to be done in order to be able to do something like that. And I, I, I know I, I give mad props to you. I really do. You know, for having your wife work with you in – uh, uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> in, in, in a project like that, I, because it, is, it really is awesome. You know, I know I love the fact that my wife likes doing this with me, and so I can only imagine how you feel about your wife working with you on a project. And that dude, that is so awesome. And I really give you high props for that. I really do. Thank you. <laughs> And your wife for stick putting up with you. <laughs> and then there's that. <laughs> no, that that was awesome that your wife jumped in on the interview. We appreciate that definitely. And you yeah, know, it's like she you... hijacked the call or some shit. <laughs> yeah, it's I, love it. Lost. I love it. I love it. Now, uh, awesome. now I know that this one is ready for you know VOD, and now. Uh, what do you what do you see happening in the future? Do you already have projects in the works, or are you just kind of you know idling out while this this happens, or what's going on? Well, we have another project that's in uh, post production, so that one should be be going um, 
VOD or theatrical sometimes uh, in June of next year called Daily Reunion. Awesome. And that's about that's about a, uh, a group of uh, college students who haven't seen each other in 10 years to get back together. And a guy that they bully, you know, comes to the reunion um, at this person's house and he kills everyone. And he's picking people off one by one, getting back. At how they oh, so it's like a horror movie? Yeah, it's like a kind of yeah, kind of like a horror movie. Yeah, that's right horror up the thriller. Queen's genre. I love horror movies, but nobody will watch them with me. So, um, yeah. No, dude, seriously. It once you get this done, we would love to watch it and have you back and talk about definitely, that. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And we definitely enjoy having you on the show. Thank you for calling us. I mean, yeah. we're not schedule keepers, so, you know, we're I try good. to be. I try to be, but it never works out. <laughs> you know, I actually I actually write down a quote-unquote script for the show, but uh, rarely do we stick to it because we, of we incidents like tonight. Yeah, there's a lot of derailment. <laughs> like, we yep. actually had to... We, we actually had you scheduled for 9 Eastern, and you called it like 10.15. So, hey, you know, it's okay, though. <laughs> we adapted. Right. right. We adapt. We adapt. Now, do you have yeah. any birthday plans? Do I have any what plans? Birthday plans. Oh, yeah, I'm having a little um, birthday gathering tomorrow. Uh, inviting a few friends and associates over, and we're going to have food and drinks. And then after that, we're going out to this charity event at 8 o'clock. Cool. Yeah, so it's going to be a pretty full day. Very no, that's cool. awesome. This it really is. birthday parties sound better than mine. Mine is just me, you know, sitting on the couch drinking. That's what I usually do, but I switched <laughs> it up this year. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Or I Hold make on. my husband take me out to get something to eat, and we, we drink too many margaritas, and my daughter has to drive us home. It's it's not good. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's that. Yeah, the whole, uh, yeah, you get three margaritas in this woman. Oh, boy. I'm on it's the a, floor. It's over. And she's screaming mm-hmm. at the same time. La, 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 la. <laughs> yeah, so. No, Baron, it, was, it has been an absolute pleasure to have you and your wife on with us tonight. Definitely. Thank you so much for having us, and thank you for this call. And I look forward to speaking to you guys soon. Excellent. All right, so, uh, Excellent. so the movie is The Condo. It comes out December 5th, 5th, 5th. on VOD. Yeah. Everywhere. VOD. Everywhere. And uh, now, are, are you on Twitter? Because I haven't been able to find you. Yes, I'm on Twitter under Baron J. B A R O N J A Y. Come on, honey. Get it together. Really? Yeah, he probably Damn used it. my full name, but. It's under no, Baron I was J. looking I was looking under something else. I, I just found it. I. Okay. I, I feel horrible yeah. now. I really do. <laughs> But uh, no, I, I will definitely mention you uh, on Twitter and on Facebook as I normally do all our no, interviews. That's not him. Uh, I found okay. Jay Barron in Texas. No, it's Baron J. Littleton Jr. <laughs> yes. So you guys are my fellow, fellow Michiganers. I'm from Detroit, well, so this is a hold on, hold on well, now, him. hold on. That's, that's only part. That's only partially I'm true. I'm originally from Ohio, lived in Arizona yeah. most of my life, and now I'm stuck living in Texas. Yes. Oh, you're in Texas. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, for so yeah, he's your uh, he's your little Michigan friend there. <laughs> okay. I'm your Michigan friend. She's in Texas, uh, but uh, soon in in 18 quick months, we're gonna be reunited in in Michigan here, and uh, yeah. be kicking a lot of ass. But uh, Baron, it, it has been an absolute pleasure to have you on with us tonight. It really is. It definitely, and thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. You guys take care. You too. Right. Have a you great You have a night. wonderful have evening. Have a beautiful, wonderful birthday. And, you know, give your wife a big kiss from us because that's, you know, oh, not yeah. uncomfortable or anything. Bye, you guys. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.